done this 31 years, and there are certain games you never forget. I had a four time, a four overtime game once with Akron. Uh, but what was special about today, this is a tournament game. You know, you lose, you're done. And to have that spectacular shot by my nephew, uh, you know, I'm not gonna lie, it does, it, it's really special, and he's named after my dad. Uh, I wish my dad was well enough to be here, but uh, you know, it's just a spectacular college basketball game, and you know, uh, you know, it's sort of that was one of those shots that like, okay, we're dead, and you know, all of a sudden we have new life, and then they, and to, to Sacred Heart's credit, they forced the second overtime when we were up three with the back door and the and one, and uh, it's, I thought it was a spectacular college basketball game. You know, the atmosphere. You know, they had their band here. The stands were full. You know, I know we don't play in the Civic Center or we don't play in some, you know, mega facility, but that is as good a college basketball game as you could see in terms of the, the just from a competition standpoint, from a drama standpoint, and just from the atmosphere in the building. I thought it was spectacular. And I was really, really, uh, you know, you, as a coach, you're grateful to be part of something like that. His face, uh, I, I was just telling him before we got started, I looked at his face and he looked bewildered. Like, he was like, did, did, did I hit that? Like, you know, and, yeah. and the first thing I thought of is when we first yeah. got here, no no kidding, when we first got here as red shirts, and we, that was the year we only won two games. And we had to sit on the bench all year long and watch that. And <clears throat> I mean, we just knew like, w w when it was tough, w when we got our shot to play, and we were gonna be impact players. And that's as big as an impact as you can make. So I'm, I'm happy for him, man. I'm proud of him, that's my brother. Yeah. I mean, it's kind of a blur right now, but <laughs> the kid, like, I forget who it was, but someone almost knocked it away. It's Kelly. And then, I kind of just, I stumbled a little bit and then I just grabbed it and I tossed it up and it felt good when I rele released it, but I thought it might be a little short and then it, it swished and then, you know, then we had new life, so it worked out. Games like this are what start to give a program some tradition and start to really establish you in the state at least as a Division One program. And one of the things I've noticed lately is you know, we had a great student support, but we're also getting a lot more local people coming out and coming to the games and fortunately that game was on TV, so, um, you know, we'd like to be you know, when people talk about URI and PC, we like, you know, we're not, we know we don't play in the same leagues, but we'd like people to consider Bryant right along with them. And um, games like tonight go a long ways towards establishing that kind of an identity. You no, know, we had a lot of confidence. We beat them down there. We felt we should have beat them here. Uh, unfortunately, we lost a tiebreaker, otherwise they'd be coming here. Um, you know, we, we have a lot of respect. They've been a real, uh, you know, one of the top programs in this league for a long time. But we feel we can go in there and, you know, if we play our best game, we're gonna be in position to have a chance. Uh, you know, and our guys, you know, we're one, one, one game away from playing for the NCAA tournament, so our guys are going to be ready to go at noon on Saturday.